Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamel and Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading. This is a collective love reading for all signs and any sign that, of the person you, you may be thinking of. So use these readings to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that has come into your life. But they are just some guidance for you in this area of your life to keep reminding you of how amazing you are and how much love you have to give and that the universe has some, a perfect person out there, someone special for you. So let's see what Spirit has. Spirit, please share with me any messages of love. I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. The magician sword, confidence in your magic. Absolutely. You are magical. You are amazing. Even the sense of strength coming into me, you know, the sense of, you know, almost a, a feeling of I'm right. <laughs> um, you know yourself better than anybody. Um, number 37, that might have meaning to some of you. But you know yourself better than anything. You know what makes you happy. You know what doesn't make you happy. You know what would feel magical to you and what wouldn't feel magical to you. So I'm going to say, you know, you really have to trust your own inner voice and you have to just keep listening to what's best for you. I'm going to say it that way. I have the number one in this card, a tidy house, clarity and organization. I love this little door and this door leads me to like all these kind of, I don't know, this, all these kind of magical places, I guess, but clarity, um, knowing yourself, organizing your thoughts. I'm going to say it that way. Like once you open your door, um, you know, who are you allowing into your energy? What are you allowing into your energy? How are you talking to yourself? All of those things are really, really important, especially when you're in between relationships. I would say that that's probably a great time to seek clarity. And then let's get one more of these. I have the Moon Maiden, the number 41. Look at this, new beginnings. So we have lots of things going on right now, um, you know, in our solar system and changes and shifts in energy. So some of you may be feeling it. Some of you may be starting to feel this new beginning opening up, um, tapping into the sense of clarity and, and they're using the word vision, maybe envisioning the life that you want to lead, making some good choices and definitely tapping into your confidence. I'm going to say that today. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. So grateful Spirit has guided you here. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, love to have you join us if you're not a member already. And then Please comment below. This, these readings are for you. Spirit, please share with me this new beginning. What is this new beginning? I have a moon again. All right, so some moon energy. So some of us are working through some moon energy to get to that new beginning. We're, we're letting go. We're trying to, to discover ourselves is what Spirit just said. Let's get this jumper. I've got a queen of wands. I've got a king of wands, beautiful. And I have a chariot. So I can feel, I, I want to get over the, I guess, just the fear of starting over. Let's just talk about that for a second. You know, those that, that time period that happens when you meet somebody, you're totally attracted to this person. <laughs> it's obvious this person's attracted to you. And then that fear pops in with, you know, is this the one? Is this going to work out? Is this meant to be? Am I going to be with this person forever? I don't want you to think that far ahead. I, I want you to just try in the moment to enjoy the fact that you found somebody that you're actually interested in, okay? I, not think, am I going to spend the rest of my life with this person, all right? We're not there yet. So it's a feeling of, I'm grateful that there's somebody that's been put in front of me that I'm actually interested in, all right? So this feeling of moving things forward, charging forward, this person wants to move things forward. You know, there's definitely a feeling of, um, moving this, moving this, this onward and upward, you know, um, but you've got somebody that is approaching you and is saying, I, I want to get this thing going. It's not this 
kind of limbo of I don't know what I want or playing games or circling around each other. I, I feel like this king is determined to move this forward. So they're not going to be afraid to pick up the phone. Um, they're not going to be afraid to ask you out. They're not going to be afraid to um, make their intentions known. So I like that energy, a page of wands. Look, it's almost a little bit of a serenading you with the with the um, guitar there um, feeling. I have a higher fan. I have uh, two of cups, beautiful, two of cups. And I have an emperor. Yeah, I'm going to say that this person is definitely sensing that this is a good connection, okay, that you know, you've sparked something in me, you have, um, you have got, you got my attention, I'm going to say it that way, you've grabbed their attention. And this is somebody that I don't think is easily, um, I don't think a lot of people can grab their attention, I'm going to say it that way. I think that this person is, is somebody that um, I'm going to say is probably pretty picky, um, you know, something like that. But you've got their attention it is how um, it's coming into me, you know, whether it's they've got their eye on you, they are attracted to you. You can hold their attention with the conversations that you guys are having. Um, they're interested in the things that you're saying, things like that. But it's also a feeling of, you know, this feels like it's been, it's kind of bigger than us. And I feel like we've been brought together for a reason. I have a seven of pentacles. I have a page of swords. Yeah, I'm not afraid to spend some time and effort with this connection. I'm not afraid that I'm going to, um, I'm going to put some effort into the spirit. Can I have some clarification on that tower? Where's that tower coming from? How is that? How is that coming into this connection at this point? Um, they have spent some time walking away, moving on. So they're ready. I'm going to say that it's either I'm going to tell you about what I just came out of and I'm going to tell you that it's over, it's behind me. And they're just doing everything in their power to move forward. So that's how I feel like you're part of that moving forward. Like sometimes the best thing that people can do is to have a new relationship um, and to, you know, know that their past is that door is closed and they really just have made up their mind. They just want to move on. So I feel like this person's going to be pretty honest right up front, pretty open right up front with whatever that situation was. King of Pentacles, this is a, this is a pretty powerful, secure person. I have a four of wands and I have an ace of swords. This person's not going to hold back. This person is going to be um, able to share their feelings. They're going to be able to talk. They're going to be able to open up to you. They are expressing themselves. Bottom of my deck, I also have an ace of cups coming in. So, you know, you've got somebody coming into your energy that it's, it's I'm going to say saying and doing all the right things. You know, the person who comes in and their words are kind and sweet and generous and um, giving and and this person is is secure. I mean, this person is um, emotionally secure, and I feel like they have they have their act together. And I also feel like this is somebody who I could easily fall in love with. They can fall in love with me, and I can see a future with this person. So for those of you that can't help in those early stages of first dating somebody, like is this somebody like do we make a good match? Uh, do we make a good couple? Is this somebody that has like long term, um, you know, success ahead of them or stability ahead of them that I would want to be with? Um, you know, do they check all the boxes, you know, <laughs> is kind of how it's coming into me. You've got their attention and you check all the boxes. I'm going to say it that way. Um, you know, so for them, I'm going to say you're the one that checks all the boxes and it's not easy for them to find somebody that I'm going to say is in either in their league or at their same level or um, I'm going to say high value, high value individual. And that's something they're really looking for. I have triumph, the number 25. Look at this. It's kind of like 
I want to capture you. I want to, um, I want success. I guess I want to say it that way. I want success in a relationship. I want to capture you. I, I want somebody that, that is, um, again, the same kind of level as me, you know, an equal and in all different ways, you know, just, um, on all different levels, you know, sometimes it's just an intellectual level. I want to, I want to be able to have conversations um, about certain topics that the other person is, you know, can engage in. So on being authentic, being your authentic self, they could see your beautiful beauty, you know, inside and out. They see the real you, you're shining. It's almost like they see your light shining. They see you dancing, you know, it's just this, this beautiful energy of your authentic self. And of course, nothing less than your authentic self is you want to be yourself. I have spiritual assistance. You've got your angels are guiding you in this connection. The number 36, the number 13, 25. These numbers could, could connect to some of you, birthday months or birth dates, and then a sense of reflection. I want to share with you what I've gone through. I want to be open with you with what where I've been, what I've learned what my journey has been um, so that you understand me better and that you um, know kind of what you're getting into. So I, I feel like there's a sense of um, truth to this connection. I'm going to say it that way. There's a sense of um, just being authentic and being honest and being open with each other. I feel like if we share with each other where we've been, I feel like we have a better shot at, at having a healthy and happy relationship. So you've got somebody who certainly is emotionally mature. So let's check that box. Let's claim that today because sometimes that's our biggest struggle with somebody who doesn't know what they want, right? So let's claim for today that you are de deserving of someone who comes into your life that is emotionally ready and mature and wants to be in a healthy relationship with you, somebody who has something to offer and is emotionally ready to offer it, something along those lines. So because so many of us meet somebody that, if I hear one more time somebody say, I don't know what I want, right? Or that, you know, let's just see where this goes. I'm not looking for anything serious or I don't wanna put labels on it. I'm gonna say, Pack your bags, pick up the, pick up your pocketbook, pick up your your you know, get up off that table, walk out of the restaurant, walk out of the date, you know, um, and just walk away from those kinds of energies because I want you to believe them when they say those things. They say them because they're planting the seed for the future of when you say you want something more or you want something more substantial. They say, well, I told you right from the beginning that I wasn't looking for that you know, and you agree to that somehow. So, you know, you want the person who emotionally says, I'm moving on from my past. I have no, no interest in going backwards. I'm looking for a new relationship. I'm looking for um, a partner. I'm looking for my equal and um, I, I'm ready for it. So that is what we, that's what we need to focus on and claim today prosper. I feel like there's some abundance around this connection, whether it's you're both doing very well, you both have good jobs, you're both financially secure, um, you have the potential to have that combined, you know, lifestyle. Um, but this, this connection is going to benefit each other in some way financially, whether it's we buy a beautiful home, or we are there to support each other. But there's definitely a sense of total stability with this connection today that this person already is stable and secure. So if you are attracting an energy that is isn't um, is piecing their life together, I'm going to say it's probably not the person that Spirit's talking about today because I am getting a sense of somebody who's an emperor, a king, <laughs> an emperor and a king um, in a chariot moving forward with their life. Great wisdom. They could be very, very bright. Okay. They could have higher educations. They could be very bright, very, um, you know, intellectual, 
um, have a lot of knowledge in a lot of different areas, Spirit just said. So their wisdom is something that you're very attracted to. That could be something that you um, really appreciate about them. I have drama. I don't want drama in my life. I'm not going to attract drama. It could be something that we talk about that both of us just want to be authentic. We don't want games. We don't need crazy. We just want to have a relationship with somebody that we enjoy and spend time with. So if we start to see drama or crazy or somebody going off the handle in some way, um, look at those things as flags. Look at those things. I want to travel with you. I want to take you away. Somebody who has dreams of traveling, traveling internationally, traveling worldwide, you know, just this, this sense of that's something that I want to do. It's on my plate. I'd like to go on a trip every year. You know, I'm, I'm happy when I plan a trip or I'm in a foreign place or I'm somewhere where it's more of an adventure and I'm learning something new. But I feel like that's a big part of this person's life. That's something that they plan. That's something that they want. So if you'd like to travel with them, jump on board, get in this hot air balloon, get in this hot air balloon. And, and, and yeah, there's a sense of success. No doubt in my mind, no doubt in my mind, you've got some, some, um, I'm going to say some wealth and success. Okay. I'm going to say it that way that, you know, whoever this person and, and your high value, they had said to me in the beginning, you know, this is somebody that doesn't, is it, is going to be very selective in who they're dating. Okay. And if they're interested in dating you, it's because you have a lot to offer also. So keep that in mind, but there does seem to be this sense of success and stability around this particular energy. Spirit, tell me more. Let's get this jumper. I have a devil. I have a knight of wands. I have an ace of pentacles. I have the sun. There's the offer. There's the offer. There's the chariot again. I'm really enjoying this chariot today for some reason. And, you know, the chariot is always a, a, a card for me that is forward movement, forward energy, which is something that Spirit shared with me right in the beginning, that this connection is moving forward. You know, you've got their attention, you know, like that is how it came into me. Um, you are definitely opening them up. You know, there's a sense of a, um, I, I do want to clarify this devil for a second because it's coming into me as, um, you know, temptate, I'm going to say temptation, eight of pentacles. So it could be somebody that has a little bit of a crush on you or a secret admirer from afar that they you know, they've been noticing you or checking you out. And it's a little bit of a, um, I, I want to find out more about you. I want to ask around about you. Energy is coming into me. And it's almost like a holding back energy that they don't want to come on too strong because they don't want to look like they're just seducing you. <laughs> but that's really what they want. <laughs> what they really want to do is seduce you. But they want to be, um, a, you know, an adult. They want to be an adult, um, you know, and they want to make sure that they don't make you feel like you're, you know, they just want you for one thing. But I think they're just genuinely attracted to you and very interested in you. So there's that kind of um, fantasizing about you going on around this, this connection. Definitely a new beginning. Uh, definitely with the sun coming towards me, um, you know, even this ace coming in, this feeling of, you know, I, I, I want to take you out. Let's just say it that way. You know, will you go out with me? Will you go on a date with me? Um, this person's not going to be shy. They're not going to hesitate getting your number, asking you out, taking you out. They are confident. Um, they are strong. They are secure. So they are an adult. <laughs> they are, um, you know, I always call it adult dating. Adult dating is, is what you're getting into. I have the world, the whole world and awakening, opening up gorgeous and a lover's card. Beautiful. So there's more going on here. You can feel that you can feel like um, I do want to seduce you, but I want to do it the right way. <laughs> I want to do things the right way. Um, there's a sense of, um, 
you know, I don't want to blow it. I want to treat you right. I'm going to say it that way. How about, how about let's claim the person who wants to treat you right. Let's claim that below. I want to be with somebody who treats me right. Like that's, that's worth claiming. Spirit, tell me what the feelings are. What are the future feelings? If this person hasn't come into your life yet, keep manifesting, keep listening. These readings help and other readers, of course, are guiding you. So just enjoy the readings and, you know, do the best you can to put your energy out there until divine timing takes place. But if this has come into your life, claim it, own it. It's yours, of course. Let's see what spirit has. We've shared many past lives together. I love that. There's that soul connection coming in. There's that. I feel like I've known you forever. I want this. Nothing compares to you. I can feel that. I can feel that you're the one. You're the one I've been searching for. I don't date everybody. So this is, you, you check all the boxes. What did they say earlier? You've got their attention is what they had said. I really do love you and I want you in my life. So we're going to fall in love. We're going to have a commitment that four wands coming in, some kind of a commitment in the future. I hope that you feel the same way. I hope you're as attracted to me as I am to you. Absolutely. I became obsessed with you and it scared me. I, I don't know if that's, they're pretty confident. This could be you, that this, this energy is, is such a good catch that you may be, it may make, make you nervous. It may, you, you might really want to be with this person. And it actually may make you nervous until you feel like you realize that they really want to be with you and they're choosing you also. So keep that in mind because I really feel like they're a great catch, but so are you. I want to be the one that gives you everything. Yeah, there is a sense of um, they have a lot to give. They have a lot to give. I, I'm going to say they have success. They have financial stability. They have some kind of wealth and abundance coming into them. So they have a lot to give. So this could be somebody that's very, very generous. And you could feel very blessed that this person has come into your life. You're what I can't live without and I can't get enough of, you know, and I like that feeling of I can't get enough of you because this energy is coming into you and they do have this kind of fantasy about you. They do have that little devil in them that's saying, oh, my God, I just want to seduce this person, but I have to do it the right way. I got to go through all the stages. I've got to wine and dine this person. I got to treat them with respect. I've got to treat them right. I got to let them know they're worthy. Um, so I do feel like they're going to go through all the stages and, and treat you right. And and I do, I do really enjoy that. I, I'm enjoying that. But I will say, I also believe that they can't get enough of you. So that's, that's kind of a fun and that's that chemistry. And that's that kind of almost insanity that happens where I can't get you out of my mind, right? So let's put this out into the universe. Let's ask Spirit to bring this to you now. I want to thank Spirit for these messages. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words and comments always. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.